What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hamas Tech and it has been a while since we have done one of these tests but today we are doing a speed ramp temperature and a Geekbench test between two very powerful phones. In the first corner over here we have the Realme GT and of course this one is rocking the Snapdragon 888 and inside here you do have 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. In the other corner here we have another Snapdragon 888 device, this one here is the Xiaomi Mi 11 and inside here you do have 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage as well. So before we start anything, let's check out the temperature and in the room that we are in, it is at about 31.1, pretty hot here in Malaysia. Let's check out those phones over here and let me just flip it here because this one has a ladder kind of a back. Here does have a glass so it's going to be a little bit different, so we'll make it a little bit more even. So over here on the phone is about 36.1 here about 36.2 so very similar in terms of temperature and of course let's boot these two phones up and normally Xiaomi phones usually have a higher or a faster kind of uh, boot up compared to many other phones let's see over here against the Realme device if it's able to beat again and keep in mind that both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% Let's see, let's see. Oh, right. First time ever the Realme device beats the Xiaomi phone over here. Very surprising and very, very interesting. Let's see if all the apps are already set up very fast here. And these are the apps that we are going to test out today. And in terms of the display, both of these two phones have been maxed out in terms of the brightness and in terms of the refresh rate. Both are running 120Hz HD+, and also 100% in terms of the brightness. Both of these two phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi and location is on on both of these two phones. Every other form of connection is disabled as we start this test. So as we go check out over here, the temperature is at about 36.7. Is a 36.4. And also keep in mind that all apps have been closed on both of these two phones as we can see over here before we start this test. So let's start this speed test over here. And as you can see, both of them are running their own gaming mode. All right, seems pretty neck and neck on both of these two phones. So uh, let's go on to the next one here. Let's go to Pokemon Go. Let's see which one will come up faster. Pretty neck and neck. And let's see. Okay, still pretty neck and neck. But I think maybe the real Mi is a little bit faster compared to the Mi 11. Just very small differences over here. Next up here, we're going to test out the YouTube. Okay, a bit faster on the real Mi GT. Okay, pretty cool. You know, there were a lot. Okay, let's go back to the home menu. All right, let's go on to the next one. Instagram looks pretty neck and neck over here. Okay, and let's go to another big app over here, which is PUBG Mobile. Let's see which one will kind of uh, start up faster. Okay, looking pretty neck and neck on both these two phones. Okay, looks like the Realme GT was a hit of the Mi 11. Not much, but still you can see a difference over there. Okay, next thing we're going to test out is one, but we're going to turn off all the sound over here. All right, let's go to check out the temperatures. 38.2, 37.7, things are getting pretty hot over here. Let's go to Chrome. Okay, I think pretty similar on both phones again. All right, let's go to Facebook. Let's take some time here with the Xiaomi Mi 11. Let's go to another app here, Shopee. Okay, take some time again on the Mi 11. Let's go to YouTube Music. Faster here on the Mi 11. Let's go to the settings. All right, pretty neck and neck, but I think maybe the Mi 11 will just slightly ahead. Very small differences. Let's go to another app, Manchester United. 
Okay, pretty neck and neck on both of these two phones. Go to another one here, Premier League. Season's gonna start. Okay, pretty neck and neck again. Let's go to Netflix. Okay, pretty cool. All right, let's go to another app, which is the camera app over here. So let's see which one would kind of uh, switch faster. Pretty even, I would say. Maybe the Realme GT is a little bit faster over here. Let's go to TikTok. Okay. Looks like uh, looks like the Realme GT again is a little bit faster with this. And let's go on to the next app, which is Twitter. Okay, pretty neck and neck on both phones. Let's go to the Play Store. All right, pretty neck and neck. So let's check out those temperatures over here. 39.9 and here 38.1. So as you can see here on the Realme GT, really, really hot. And let's check out the RAM test over here. Geekbench. All right, this is very disappointing. And maybe because of the game mode, all these things are off. So let's go to another one here, Pokemon Go. Okay, there's no refresh over on the Realme GT. All right, the point there. Let's go to YouTube. A refresh here, which is pretty disappointing. Let's go to Instagram. All right, this one's okay. Let's go to PUBG Mobile. And looks like both of them are all right when it comes to the RAM management. And then let's go on to Facebook. All right, okay on both of these two phones. And let's go to Twitter. Okay, so in terms of RAM management, to be honest, not much in terms of difference between both of them. 12 gigs here, 8 gigs here, not much difference at all. So let me just close up all the apps and we're going to run a GPU test over here with Adobe Rush. Okay, so we're going to do a GPU test over here. I'm going to export this into 4K. We're going to see which one would kind of finish faster. One, two, three. So it looks like the Realme GT is just going miles ahead of the Xiaomi Mi 11. It's just way too fast over here. As you can see, the settings are same on both, so you don't have to worry about it. So it's pretty disappointing here on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Let's give it some time for this to kind of uh, finish up. Okay, so we are finally done over here, way behind of the Realme GT. Alright, so I managed to cool down both of these two phones to a more normal temperature over here. So on the Realme GT, 36.2. On the Mi 11, 36.3 before we start this gig bench test. And uh, keep in mind the battery has gone down to 95% and over here 94%. So let's run this gig bench test. One, two, three, let's go. So it looks like now we are at the halfway mark and the Realme GT is just way ahead of the uh, Xiaomi Mi 11 over here. Pretty surprising and uh, yeah, pretty impressive so far from the Realme. So let's check out the temperatures over here. 36.2 still very respectable and here 36.4 still very good on both of these two phones. So again, I'll see you guys at the end of these results. Okay, so looks like we are done over here with the Realme GT. Impressive score here of 1,135 and a multi-core score here about 3,081. Let's give some time and here you get less than 1,000 on the Xiaomi Mi 11 and 3,037 here on in terms of the multi-core score. So let's run another test over here which is the compute test. And let's see if this one can catch up. The Xiaomi Mi 11 can beat the Realme GT. So one, two, three, let's go. Okay, so it looks like over here again with the Realme GT, it just beats the Xiaomi Mi 11 when it comes to this kind of big bench test. So in terms of score, not much to separate both of these two phones over here. And let's check out the results that we have on both of these two phones. 
So as you can see here in terms of the CPU, I actually run this test a few times and you can see the scores are pretty similar and pretty consistent and that's what you're going to get on both of these two phones in terms of the CPU test as well. As you can see here, they are both pretty similar but this one definitely does process it faster compared to the Xiaomi Mi 11. So that is it. This is very, very impressive uh, test that we have done over here. So that is it, a pretty impressive test and comparison between both of these two very, very good phones over here. So yes, if you did find this video helpful and also did enjoy this, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hamistag. So that is it, this is Dr. Hamistag. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.